us from our point of conception and has always been in us and available to us throughout our walk of life. Uh, well, can you bear with me our apologies that you may not be clear but it's because of the light on the other side. But I hope you can grab something. Hey, praise the Lord. So we need to understand this, brothers and sisters, that God's presence was first imputed and breathed into us from our point of conception, which means that ever since from the very first point, very first uh, second, that I was conceived within my mother's womb, the presence of the Lord has always been there. Amen. So from a point of conception, and it has been with us, and has always been with us, and it's available to us throughout
sisters. Hallelujah. It's immeasurable. Amen. The son is said, I tried, I tried, I tried to fail it, I tried to mess me. I couldn't. There's so much going on in your mind. No one of Psalm 150 says, My God remembers me. Son, I don't know if you can even close what we want to hear. Even when your mind is not on God, his mind is on you. Hallelujah. Even when our mind is not on God, this mind is on us. God is good. <coughs> Let me go on. Although for us to make first to the making of the child in a womb, because I want to touch on the presence of God in a man. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, a few introductions I'd like to say here. One is that man is created with a purpose and a destiny. Brothers and sisters, I would love to encourage us this morning that you and I, we, are created with a purpose and a destiny. There's a purpose for your existence here. Praise the Lord. There's a destiny as well. That was sent away from the apostle. If you don't know you don't love her, you know make you wicked. Praise the Lord. So we need to be considering the purpose of our existence, our existence down here, and of course our destiny as well. And we need to understand as well, brothers and sisters, that we are created with ability and credibility as well. Wow, I love this. That when God created us within our mother's womb, He had imputed in us such great ability. Amen. It's so much that He seen this body that God has blessed for the fulfillment of the purpose of my existence. So you and I are created with ability to be able to do things and credibility, the assurance of being trusted that we can be entrusted with responsibilities, that we can be entrusted with uh, ministries, with gifts, with all the innate gifts that we come with. So we are created with responsibility as well as accountability. Which simply means that when God gives us a task, hallelujah, we are accountable for that task as well. When God gives us a ministry, we are accountable for that ministry as well. When God gives us gifts and talents, we are accountable for those gifts and talents as well. Amen. And of course, man is a creature of great vulnerability. Wow. Which means that if you do not know all of us as humans, as human beings, as men, we have, we have a capacity, we, have, we, are, we, have, uh, uh, we are capable of being wounded, of being hurt, and even uh, physically or perhaps emotionally. And we can be susceptible as well to temptation and corrupt influences as well. So we are uh, vulnerable, we are a vulnerable being. Praise the Lord. That is why we need to be aware of ourselves. Amen. It said in two of the and I go for And the kill of the and the rocking in the bubble car, and the in the nuka, and the mumbo. It said in the bale bale in the kit and the kolobo ya. It can in bale bale in the kamara. Praise the Lord. So we are a creature of great vulnerability as well as propensity towards anything greater than me or greater than you. We tend to have that. It's kind of a natural inclination or tendency. We tend to like this and like that. There are preferences in life. There are choices in life. That's not a man. It's there within him. It's there within her. Wow. That's why it's very important to understand yourself or ourselves. Now again, 
praise the Lord. God is good. I have underlined the word created there. And the word created comes from an Hebrew word. The word is bara. And bara means shape or mark out. And it refers to the divine creative power.
Mais vous avez que que vous avez dit que vous avez dit que vous
while you were still in the womb, I knew you. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. And when the devil tries to challenge you, you say to him, I have the faith, I have the title. Because a title cannot be challenged in any open court. The devil cannot challenge your title or your faith in his court. See, that's the beauty about having this personal relationship with God. Praise the Lord. So he had on him King of 
Sei in maniera di fare. Ma nel serio che ne stiamo ancora dopo, non devo andare a stare a casa di guardare qua. Ah, ah. Tutto sarà una sapere che è una mia volontà. Mi fa un po' di tocca a una cosa. Che tu non vuoi fare un po' di male. Quello che mi vuoi fare non ti sa. No, non mi dico un fratello sì. Tu non vuoi fare un po' di male. 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 Tu non vuoi fare un po' di male.
You will.